Um, Trump and his CPAC sycophants um, are leading the GOP down a, a losing path. Um, Donald Trump's return to the national stage at the, cons at the conservative um, political action convention known as CPAC was what everybody expected it to be. In a two-track speech where he was intermittently bored by the teleprompter and amused by his own ad-libs, he teased a third presidential run, which he won't win. He came home to his animating issue, immigration, which was inexplicably absent from his 2020 re-election um, re campaign and continued the farce that he actually won last November, which he didn't. And he ran, he even ran through, um, ran through a hit list of Republicans to be ousted from the party. Uh, um, as a, um, the note was Trump shooting down the idea of a third party, which is actually a good impulse. Republicans cannot win with a fractured party, nor can they win if it gets any smaller. I don't understand the quest by some Republicans to shrink the party. The GOP just lost, um, just lost the White House by nearly 7 million votes and hasn't won the national popular vote in a presidential election with someone other than a, than, than Bush since 1984. Republicans lost the White House and don't control either House of Congress in Washington, despite the relative equilibrium in the Congress. Um, yet there was Senator Ted Cruz at CPAC a couple of days before Trump, trying to excommunicate people that he derided as a country club Republicans and Republicans who, I guess, Cruz finds dist distasteful for the incessant golfing and love of private dining. Is he, unaware, is he unaware that Trump currently lives at a country club and owns a bunch of them? Um, Cruz had um, Cruz had copied Representative Jim Jordan with these statements, who the other day declared that the Republican Party no longer tolerates people who drink wine and eat cheese and accepts those um, who um, wear blue jeans and drink beer. How much wine and cheese do you think the, the good people mar lago consume on a daily basis? The real question is, why can't the GOP have it all? What good does it do for the smaller of the two parties to shrink itself better or further? Does Cruz consider Ritz Carlton, um, the Ritz Carlton goers, to be in or out because he just stayed because he just stayed in one in Mexico the other day? As a practical matter, the GOP is currently um, cap um, capable um, capable of, or culpable of winning majorities in the twenty twenty two midterms because of geographic jurisdictional and redistrict and redistricting advantages of uh, advantages along with the strong possibility that President Joe Biden will be far more democratic than advertised. But there is no evidence that the GOP will win the twenty twenty four presidential campaign unless it embraces a more elastic bam a uh, brand, which welcomes country clubbers, white <coughs> and blue collar workers, young and old, white and non white, we need the insurance agent and the pipe fitter, the retired Rotarian and the young welder. The grandma voted in her 12th election and her grand and the granddaughter voted in her first. We need them all. But who can lead the party to that broad coalition? And there is a direct empirical evidence that putting Trump at the center of our party in 2024 is a probable loser as, tr as Trump twice got, got a smaller percentage of the vote than Mitt Romney and that was before he failed the failed insurrection wherein Trump violated his oath of office to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. But some Republicans, especially those most um, sick of fanatic to Trump, make the mistake of believing politics to be a game of subtraction when it really is a game of addition. It is entirely po it is entirely possible to construct a rational center-right platform that attracts a broad coalition that includes Trump supporters, um, or sycophants as I like to call them. The Democrats, led by Biden, are already making it easy for the GOP to unify in opposition to what they see as a far-left agenda. The follow-up task is to offer a competing government alternative based on something other than grievances and conspiracy theories. Um, Trump actually ran on a policy platform in 2016, immigration, trade, drain the swamp, which he never did. Um, he ran on virtually nothing in 2020 and has left the Republican Party searching for an identity beyond blind loyalty to him. And where do we go from here? It's going to take a while to sort it out by by but running on nothing but more but more Trump and shrinking the party for the Senate joining the club like Trump's is unlikely to put a Republican back in the office anytime soon.